heck that was. There we go. You guys need to get this tool. I love that tool. I'm Matt Caber Tools today. We are gonna go over something at Harbor Freight that not many other channels actually cover. We are gonna go over to the Harbor Freight Tool brand four piece anti-fatigue foam mat set. Now, just so you guys know, this is not just a floor mat that you use for the floor. This, you could use this material for many, many things. This is building material right here. What do I mean by that? I'm gonna show you guys really quick. Before we get into the big stuff, the very unique things that you could build with this, I'm gonna do something very simple for you guys. Right, let's take this out. And like I said, these are four pieces. And so, yeah, so the first thing we're gonna do is this finish, see that this finish is garbage. So let's grab a heat gun and blast this. Now that this is a Tech Life heat gun, uh, I'm gonna do a video on Tech Life in a little bit because I recently found that they're no longer on Amazon. Uh, that is good enough. Let that heat gun cool. Like I said, we're gonna do this really quickly. You gotta make sure you have a sharp blade. This blade I use on concrete, so this blade is screwed for what I want to do. All right, so first, what I'm gonna do is I need a square. So let's, <coughs> we will need six of these. All right, so now we got our razor. Nice and sharp. And there we go. P push it out. And then there we go. Look at that. All right, so I'm gonna cut out the rest of them, then we'll get back to it. All right, so as you can see, we have our six pieces. The next thing we're gonna do is get some uh, rubber cement. Now we're gonna do, do that to all six pieces. And we'll be back. And there we go. See, we made a cube out of those squares that we cut out. We made a cube. And as you can see, this is actually a good building material. You know, it, this is a little uh, cold out here for this job because this needs a uh, room temperature for the glue to really set. But yeah, so like this is just an example of what this foam could actually do. I learned this technique from this guy. All right, now this is actually some really cool stuff that we've built throughout the years. Before I got into this channel, my friend James and I used to build costumes together. We built dozens of costumes together, and it was that we had a production. We had our own little production line, just the two of us on what we uh, we had tasks to do, and it was a f it, it was fun at the time. And yeah, I learned a lot, I built a lot, which including I built this suit. The tools that we built this stuff with was actually from Harbor Freight because it was inexpensive and the stuff that we are building, you know, it's uh, it being destroyed depends on the owner of the suit. And so yeah, but it's actually some good stuff. Like you could build some fantastic stuff with this material. I went to Harbor Freight today to uh, get some supplies because uh, not a lot of you guys know, but Halo Infinity came out and I am a huge Halo fan. 
and it's winter time. I'm done working on the house. So now I need uh, something uh, relaxing to uh, take my time up and I'm going to get back into Halo. You know, the, I'm, I'm going to play video games and do the channel and do my regular job. Yeah, house and lawn work are going to continue during spring. So I have a few months to sort of relax from working on the house, which is sort of nice because I do have a full-time job. This channel is a one-man show. And during spring, I'm going to rebuild my Halo suit. So I went to Harbor Freight to scope out prices, and the prices are actually pretty good. This is a $10 foam. You can also use it as a floor mat if you want in your garage. But when it comes to a floor mat, I'd go more of a rubber solution because you need something that will actually stick very well to the floor and that won't uh, sort of uh, rip on you, you know, in time. So if you're more interested in this stuff, go check out my uh, friend's Facebook page, Laughing Dragon Foundries. He also has an Etsy store where he sells and makes this stuff. But right now he's actually in the 3D printing. He's 3D printing some awesome stuff. And I do have some of that stuff coming my way, but yeah, but this is, this is a good fun hobby to get in because we used to do Comic Cons all the time. And the, like people just go crazy over these costumes, you know, like they take, uh, like we get rushed with people just asking for pictures and asking us how we build this stuff. But yeah, this is a good fun hobby to get in. And yes, most of our tool, like I said, most of our tools was made in Harbor Freight. So I'll put it right here. Go check out Laughing Dragon Foundries. That is his uh, emblem that he made. And so, yeah. It is fun stuff, and I do thank you, James, so much for actually showing me how to do this. It took years to, it took a few years to sort of master it. I'll show you the progress of my personal, of uh, my Halo costume from the first version to the final version, and it it was an adventure. It was so like those were those were the back in the good old days when I was in my twenties. But that's pretty much it, you guys. I just wanted to show you what this material can build. And yeah, we got uh, this stuff from Harbor Freight. So Harbor Freight built all of those suits. Uh, hi, I'm Jim. That's Dave. How you doing? So, all right. We are Laughing Dragon Foundries, and today we are going to be doing a speed build on a Mark IV Iron Man suit. Uh, TVA foam, contact cement, hot glue. We're, uh, we're gonna rock it, we're gonna make it happen. So uh, we're gonna set this on time lapse and kind of take it from there and see how it goes. So stick around.
So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.